And welcome everyone to the stream. All right, well, tonight's Monday Night Magic, as per usual. Uh, in about a couple of, I think it's either Wednesday or Thursday, the new set drops, and I haven't actually gotten to look at it. There are some interesting things in there. I don't know if Cascade is one of them that's coming back. I dread to think that because the, that's going to be hell. Anywho, <clears throat> today was also a mishmash of hell, too, trying to actually get my 15 wins, even though somehow they... I don't know why it's not lower for daily wins, uh, considering that weeklies are the same thing. So it's very, very strange, so to speak. For some reason, I don't know why. I would have taken it over having like five over, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, 15. But, uh, yeah. Fortunately, Good Night Life changed uh, on the off and off. I have a second Clerics of Life's Bond, which unfortunately meant that my uh, multicolored doggo Kronos is no longer with us. But I could also run uh, Luris as well in this deck, but I'd have to drop, I think, like like a third of these guys. Well, actually four of them. No, five. Uh, which is Vito, the Patrician, Baneslayer, and Drana. And I'd rather not drop those. <laughs> even though Luris, even though every permanent has to be two or lower, which is already bad news because there's all this shit. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, but for the most part, Loris just being able to just drop people left and right is pretty good. Uh, I honestly would love to run a, uh, a, uh, uh, my Wallachia Militia, even though technically everything is sort of human, minus the garrison cat. But I mean, to be honest, that's it. And the whole idea, I mean, it'll, it'll dump down from four anyway, but... The whole idea was just that it's humans fighting against vampires. Because why not? <laughs> uh, but the whole idea was just that you were running... No, well, Omen, yes, but it was the idea of Sanctuary Lockdown and... Just mass tokening. Or at least for the most part. Oh, thank you. Hello, hello. Yeah, there, there are... I mean, I don't own most of them, but I have most of these here. The collection is huge, and, but doesn't offer much because I don't have uh, a lot. I don't know. Let me introduce to you my favorite. If I can find. Oh, right. There. Prunos. <laughs> He's my favorite hound. <laughs> He's a good doggo. Three, with three heads, but yeah. Uh, it's only great it's only great for because anyone who plays like Lars is just a counter, but uh I would love to be able to run this nice. Uh I have two? I know the flourishing fox. I have others, don't I? Oh yeah. That's right, I have uh, the big the big odd cats around here as well. Flutterfox, Volpakeet, and Zindra. It's honestly tough to run this one, though, because I don't have the necessary uh, companionship to run. It was actually a good one. Uh, I mean, there's that one. Uh, where was that other dog? I know uh, There's one I know I don't own. Oh, yeah, Ren and Sari. That's another one. And there's also the pack leader, who was just a, um... A Frenchie, um... Oh, God. I should know this breed, because it's used in a lot of movies, too. And I can't think for the life of me the name of that movie. Uh, because it is the one from... The one that I'm thinking of is, uh, Labyrinth. I can't think of the name of the... I can't think of the dog breed. But I'm, but I'm not positive it's the same one. Anywho. Uh... Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's Milo and Otis. Uh, 
Oh boy. I almost feel tempted to just run my black uh, my black green deck, but it is not made for these type of uh, type of ranked matches. So that's why I'm running clerics. And nothing good. As per usual. Well, I mean, I'll take it. Ah, uh, green, black, huh? How am I running? Oh! My theme's dropped. I've got a feeling this is just going to be a, uh... Yeah, it's that. It's the one they hand you. Oh, look, there's Questing Beast. Oh, boy. Ooh, this is gonna be dear for Kirk. Oh, big cat. Oh, man. It, I mean, it's the only... What is his name? Anaji? There is planeswalkers of him, but unfortunately, uh... None of them are legal and standard as of now. And I used to, very way back in the day when Mirrodin used to be a block, I used to run the cats, which were the Leoans. They were, they were alright, they weren't the best. I'd rather get rid of Nighthawk, though. This is already a problem because I don't want to burn my chief thirst. Oddly enough, uh, there actually is a deck that you can play that is just cats, dogs, birds, and dinosaurs, essentially. Which is what Rin and Siri are actually, uh, well, yes and no. Rin and Siri are just for cats and dogs, and they gain protection from each other. Um, ooh, it's you. That's a problem. Thankfully, you don't mill, because I hate rogues. I'm still at... Can I just, like, get... I just cannot cut a break right now. Good lord. I've s I have actually have seen this deck, because I know of uh, Chevelle. Cheville. Hunt and a bane of monsters. Oh. Ah. Tomfoolery. That was a bad idea. Is he gonna... Uh, two minutes two? No, he's gonna ramp through. And I am without kill cards. Ah. I hate this thing with burning passion. But I just hate rogues in general because they're just so stupid. Then again, having nothing but two. Oh, we need to bring that back because he has three. There's like an always I'm more or less thankful I'm not as competitive as I used to be, but then again, I technically just really, well, kind of sick back in the day, but. It was more or less different then. I think you'll merc it. Yeah, saw that one coming. He, he technically. Uh, fourteen. Uh, criminal. Uh, give me a sec. I'm trying to remember. What was in middle school?
Yeah, give or take, it was 11 years. Uh, so it's a joint. Uh, the name is Jointed. Um, one of my favorite um, uh, bosses was from Metal Gear Solid. So that's Psycho Mantis. And then there was the tabletop game I discovered many years ago by the, na uh, by the name of Confrontation. And they have what they refer to as the Wolfen of Yida. And the Wolfen of Yida are these humans curse. Well, they're essentially werewolves, but they're a lot more quote unquote civilized, I guess is the right word. Uh, but my Twitch, my Twitch name is the same as like most of my usernames, so it's all the same. Uh, but basically what it was was just drop Mantis for Wolfen and, and then voila. I don't know why you... Oh, because he was a live link, yeah. Uh, but that's essentially what it was. It was just combining those two and then kind of figuring out what the actual name of... Uh, what uh, what Wolfen actually stood for, which I thought there was meaning. It is a, uh, unfortunate... Uh, but to my know, uh, at least to my knowledge, it's not. Uh, yeah. and, uh, doesn't matter the situation in hand. I can kill the silver smoke, but he'll just kill me. Uh, there's a town in Germany named Wolfen. There is a. Nah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I hate that it got to 40 on just green black for no reason at all. Well, other than everything and having a lifelink from black, but... Uh, there's a town in Germany named Wolf, and my original thought was, or at least my original finding of it was supposed to be a man who acts like beast, so playing to the whole idea of just that, uh, you know, of a, like a feral nature that no matter how smart we are, we'll just revert back to our old, like, simian selves sort of deal. There's a lot more psychological behind it, but... Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's the up and up of it, anyway. Uh, most of it really just comes down to just, like, I love wolves, and... You are welcome. I'm trying to remember most of it, but... I mean, that is the ma major... Dish, <laughs> I should say. Oh yeah, <laughs> I won't deny that. I ugh. no lands, nothing to kind of counter his monsters or his creatures. Excuse me, monsters. Is, monsters are a different thing here. The monsters are the players, not the creatures. Because <laughs> that's how I see it. But. Unfortunately, the way how Bla uh, how Blackheart's player is just mm. not my cup of tea. Actually, funny enough, um, that is ironically that is the name of my computer when I, or at least what I give it as its tag name is Wolfenstein, even though Wolfenstein is a castle from. Uh, Fictional Germany referring to the Nazis uh, during World War II, <laughs> which was also a video game as well, and a very popular one at best, except for the second one, which was god awful. Which was most unfortunate, but yeah. Actually, the the last two, I should say, not. Uh, the, the new one that came out, I think it was like 2000 and. Ugh, 2017, which was Return to Castle Wolfenstein or something like that. Uh, that one was good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's how everyone referred to it, was that it was... That Frankenstein was the name of the monster, but then it's like, no, that was the name of the... Uh, of the, um... Uh, what do I call it? Uh, that was the name of the creature. Or, no, that was the name of the doctor, Dr. Frankenstein. Frankenstein's monster was what that thing was. I think he's taking a sprint out. It, it, it was basically like back then in the day when it was like the old uh, 
first person shooters of the 90s so you had like your doom and hexen and all that they were part of that one and then came the funnier ones such as shadow warrior blake stone rise of the triad and uh duke nukem <laughs> yes i played these when i was a kid too <laughs> uh how it shaped my life also quake was another one as well I can do that. Sorry, DJ. I always hate doing that to them. Yay, silver one. No idea why that does that. Ah, it's Jebwood. Ooh. I'll take a risk on it, but those scared barons are gonna hurt me. Red, blue. No, I, I need to get rid of it. Life's bounty is not something I, I like to have on the field. It's, it's no fun. Pay one second. Give protection. That's a very odd choice. Er, no, I know I have mirror shield, but... Bonner's uh, enclave is... You're a white-black deck. Why would you need binders on? Ow, oh, that's why. Well, that's... That's a problem. Really do hope I get my exile card, because I need to get rid of that thing. Let's do this, because I need this. I need to start playing damage right now. No monsters, which is concerning. All right then, I'll take it. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is uh, what the game plan on that one is. All I know is that Heliod's a pain in the ass to deal with, and um, I think in this deck, no, Ro that's Roach Killer, wrong guy. I need this thing. Oh, I do have True Love's Kiss. Oh. Oh, wait, that's right. I only have one of those because the other one's just to deal with it when it becomes an actual monster. Right, 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 right. Or Planeswalker because those things are just as dangerous and I don't run any in this deck even though I should. But a lot of the white black ones are just as poor. That's a name. I got two. Not really, uh... Green black again. It's probably another, uh, one of those, uh, bounty hunter, uh, cards again. Oi, 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 oi. Well, 
mean, I can't. More or less for protection. But I think he can outright murder it if he chooses. No, he's land speeding. Oh, jeez. I play like me. This is, this is most concerning. Well, I'll, I'll be able to tag whatever he throws down real quick. Uh, which is that problem? Check down. What are you trying to scry for? Tab one bottom and land. Wait for something bigger to show up. Oh, kind of like that. Oh, I. Oh no, he. Okay, I need to get rid of that thing immediately. Later, buddy. I do not need underworld dreams in there. Oh, cool. I got a backup plant too. Yay! Alright, cool. fighters that guy. Can't mill anything. I'm, I'm gonna regret that, but anything that he throws out that's really big, I definitely need to handle it. Is it a return to nature? No. no. Is this like. Ah, well, actually, that would be a, the wrong question to ask. Oh dear, oh dear, what do you got? Another track down. What is he looking for? Because this green black deck is nothing like mine. Mine has a, my mine has an objective. Two one another land. He doesn't have the golly uh, the jolly green giant in there, so it's really confusing. He's been holding on to that one card for like the past four or five turns already. So it's mostly disconcerting. Because I don't know what he's running. And I pretty much just have E to Extinction on standby just in case I'm. Yeah, crap. Well, Even's gonna get rid of his thing too if he calls it. Nah. Guess who? The thing that saves my ass six boys from Sunday. Yeah, no, it's over. I have no reason to drown it out. Um. Ah, oh, that angel. I am so glad I bought her alternate art. Because she is... When she gets out of hand... Oh boy! She gets out of hand. That's not too bad of a hand. I mean, it's minor ones and twos, but the thing is, is that... Ooh, red black. Uh, do I wanna... You know what, I'll... I'll drop the scry for right now. Mmm... Uh, no, 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 no. Ember, just in case he has ever cleave. Even though I can get rid of it with disenchant, but... He could also have a lot of other things too, which can be problematic to some degree. Uh, which is actually funny because I could drop Shadow Sky right now. Mm. 
No. Okay, so this is definitely searching for some big boom cards, I think. Cool. And now I get to start making uh, Hello Freeze big now. What do you got, good sir? Come on, come on. You probably have something very scary. No, I'm trying to back. Only that he's, uh, well, if he's got anything that deals that can kill power four or greater, he's about to do it. That's gonna be a problem. <sighs> oh, you know I can kill him instantly and not have him uh, have him reveal my hand to me. Keep making this dude bigger. Oh wait, I had a light of hope. What the hell am I? Oh wait, no, that's only for enchantments. I have had that used to because these are the uh, things to get rid of the artifacts. Herp derp. I'm hungry for some spooky pie. Om nom 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 nom. I, I would be amazed if he. Uh, well, actually, he can't win. <laughs> I'm fat. <laughs> and plus, dropping light of hope. Oh, crap. God damn it. Yeah, he's gonna get rid of my. Um, Probably gonna get rid of Tree Love's Kiss. I mean, they're both instant, so it's the thing that do you destroy it or do you exile? It? Yeah, you got rid of the card that exiles. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, apparently, I win. Any blocking you do? Yeah, you just. I got a dark and dusk rose coming in. Yay, gold four! That was. I'm probably going to derank at this <laughs> unfortunate time. Uh, that, that's gonna suck. And then again, it was silver two when I did this. Plus, every win gives you two before you. Uh, it's every four wins get you a rank up, and then every six losses, I would assume, give you a rank down. Alright, cool. Um, definitely gonna be dropping these on the Impassed Ornator. Impassioned Ornator, excuse me. Um, definitely gonna play all these. Hello, Priest. Is he gonna hard buff it? Nope, gonna see my good old friend Haliad. Oh, great. Oh boy, this is bad. Okay. Here's what gonna do that. You gotta get rid of that. Drop this in the petition. Swing. Voila. 
Now, if he's got any kill cards, he's gonna use them right now. Mm -hmm. I really need True Love's kiss right now. Because this is dangerous. Well, yeah, no, actually, you can't do it. That just occurred to me because you don't have the option to because there is no instant one that works with this. So you are up shit's creek without a paddle for the most part. You don't have anything that is flying. What's your game, anyway? That's what I'm trying to figure out right now, because he's definitely got something, but I don't know what. And having to hard burn this fight is definitely difficult, too. I think Deadweight is, too. Well, I'll be super unlucky if you draw something. That also means that I have to figure out how the hell to kill these things. Oh, fungal. Oh, that has now become a problem. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's, uh, that is an unfortunate hand right there that I was dealt. But apparently he thinks he... Uh... Well, all right then. Those Heliods are such a pain in the ass. But I run white-black, so it's not... I mean, it's still viable in the Uncle Tor, but it's just difficult. Like, there are other choices I can take. <laughs> Check on! No. Lady Drana, damn it. Hmm. I like how she's still here with me. <laughs> right, I, have to, I have to do this because I have no other choice. Uh, oh man, I do not like having to take two hits on that. Because that means whatever chicken. Yeah, it's a mono green. Beg pardon, why do you run that? If it's green-white, I think it will make sense, but all he's shown me is just G, so it's like, I don't know. I mean, all I have to do is just get rid of that thing, because that's a pain. Uh, we don't know. Well, there's another green card. Track down. So, what is your deck at gold four? Or gold two, well, yeah, gold tier four. Come on, chicken man, don't be a scrub. It's another land. Hey, don't worry. He's okay, I do not mind. Ooh, homegrown. Uh, well. <laughs> Yeah, that would be long ago, I said, no. But I was about to say grown blueberries, and then I forgot you told me that the, the land has probably just got, like, a crap load of nitrous, or, uh, some... It's actually very weird that I know a little bit about, like, how plant nutrition and whatnot works for farming. It's it's so strange, like, there's so much science that goes behind it, too. It's like, Ugh. Uh, there's a problem. Uh. 
Yeah, my assumption would have been that it's... Well, now, malnourished would probably be the right word, so to speak, but there's also the fact that... Uh, what the hell is that? Um... Well, no. I mean, maybe. I don't know if the light would be a very, uh, very big part of that, I want to say. Oh, crap. Well, thankfully, I can get rid of that. I hate to waste this. I really do, because I know full, full well in the back of my mind. Vivian's gonna show up and I'm just gonna be heartbroken. Because she is a monster to deal with. But thankfully, Trackdown can't track her, so... Safe for the most part, but it's definitely going to be a big critter. Scavenging ooze, that's a big crit. Well, I mean, it can be a big critter if it chooses to be. There's also that problem. Well, am I gonna get another land? Let's find it. Oh wait, yeah, I already figured that out. Actually, you know what? I need to get rid of that shadow spear. Oh, that's my hand. This is gonna... Well... You get one hand. You get one card, champ. Congratulations. There's a Gigantosaurus Rex. Oh, that's right, the Chrysalid. Or Chrysalid. Ugh. I always pronounce that name wrong, so I just always go with Dryad, because that's what it is, essentially. Ugh, oh, shenanigans. This is not moving. Well, this helps. Very little of it helps. And ran through. Yeah, he's, he's highlighting Elder, so it's a ramp through. Oh, 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 right, I forgot. If you're gonna do that with the inscription, might as well just put it on the ooze. I think you can. Yeah, you can. Yeah, that's a problem. Can't destroy the ooze right now. I mean, I don't. And land! Nope, oh, later. Because why not? Mm -hmm. Ah, no. Oh, that's game. I have nothing about that. I oh, asked yes, the, <laughs> the expedition healer will help me. That old man is going to be scared out of his mind. Is that another ram thrower than an inscription that he's got there? Well, that card definitely will probably be his inscription. Yeah, he was... Uh, he's using Elder to hit me, putting two on there, and then draw, uh, getting nine life from that. Three, two... Wait. And a 20, because I don't like people who do that. Could have just swung with the Elder and just called it a game. I know that everyone loves the idea of no kill like overkill, but... Show some humility, damn. I hate to think you go back to tier one silver again. <laughs> oh, 
really? Huh. I would have assumed that uh, blueberries would have been f good for the northern climate. Uh, it's... Well, it's, to be quite fair, right now where I am is basically the cutoff point for how good this deck is going to run. Because that is... That is unfortunately the nature of this beast. This is how this deck... Uh, this is a cleric deck that's also a bit jank. Oh, thank you, Eliminate. Um, because it doesn't have the uh, numbers that it really should have, but... It, it does things. It'll win sometimes, but... It's, a f it's definitely a tough fight. But it's not one that doesn't feel... Special, for the most part. Or at least fulfilling when you do get that win. Even though, like, two people have rage quit on me, so... Um, I mean, I'm playing ranked right now, so... This technically... Is my best deck. I mean, the other one I just run for casual because I... I have what I refer to as beef. Oh... <laughs> oh, that's bad. There is little less The shadows awaken! Run, run, Raggy. We gotta get rid of that thing ASAP. I'm gonna lose exile cards with that too. Um, but the black green deck I have is all. You have two in your hand, good sir. Oh. I hate decks, please. Get out of here. But like legit, but in legitimacy, um, my green black deck cannot uh, win against some of the more. Uh, better decks in gold. Two lands. And there went, uh, my vampire. Crap. Uh, which sucks because these things are nightmares and don't cause it to do So... I'm up Shit's Creek without a paddle. I just don't know why he runs three colors for a deck like this. Very little reason, too. You, you just need green, uh, blue, and... Ah, fungal. Really? What does he have a massacre worm? <laughs> it losing four cards on that one. Let's see, another... Oh, there's two kill cards. And there's another... Wow, back to back. Both my good... I also have what I refer to as the magic curse. Which is when crumple like that happens, where all of a sudden the good stuff just disappears. Two of the same cards back to back drowned out by these nightmares. And I can't kill them. And this gentleman probably. And they went another land, and three more lands. Good lord. I mean, I'm not bagging out of this one. I know it's a complete defeat, because it's all I got left. It was just stupid unlucky that there were just... Oh, hello, two planeswalkers at the same thing. were probably both in his hands in the start gate. No. I'm just gonna make it as tough as I can for him before I lose. Oh, and you're that kind of person. Good. I just also don't... Er, a lot of my beef from back in the day, too, I don't like anyone who plays blue because blue is a is what I would just refer to as the unfun color, because it's definitely for people who just amass control, or at least the control freak, so to speak. I give him props for that one. Uh, no. Um... 
but I just got nothing on this gentleman, so I mean it's it's definitely an L. I just don't like the way how I did that. I don't Yeah. It's definitely one of the more frustrating decks because it's it's what I would refer to as speed vaulting, I would say. Where if you're not fast enough to beat your opponent, your opponent just automatically wins because uh, playing the long con just means you lose outright, so. And. Yeah. So I just play clerics uh, on, the, on the main road and then suffer the 15 on the other end. Because that's just how it goes. And this is uh, Christmas Sleeves from 2018? 2019? Ah, uh, ruined crap? Nope. Ah, oh. uh, that, that's also another... So when I was referring to the... Simplicity of some rules... Um... They make it outright to be just mind-numbing, so to speak. And one of the more or less problems with what they refer to as landfall is whenever a land enters the battlefield, this effect will trigger. Well, for the most part, that means any land, and there are big green combos that just... Yeah. Oh, I spent the... Uh, damn it. And this is where the so-called problems arise. And I do not like to fail. And Tef... Uh, Teferi, yeah, Teferi. Uh, I, I always, it always takes me like a second look at his name just to be like, uh, what is your name? Yeah, Teferi. He is the biggest pain in the ass to me. I have to, I have to play Bane Slayer. I have to just be very hopeful. Oh. I just had to be very uh, on the hope side that he doesn't have return or something like that. I mean, that's fine. That wasn't part of my problem, but uh, I, well, I played it like yeah, that, mm, playing a land card, sir. Uh, I I played way back. Uh, funny enough, um, how I got into this was way back in the day. From 2006 or 2007, um, there was a program for um, the local card shop that was near me. Or yeah, within within the local area, it was like 10 minutes away. I can go. I can walk down there and play cards, play on the on their computers. And, you know, play tabletop games. And so that's where I learned to play Magic, was there. Uh, after the, on the Wednesday after school, I guess special if you want to call it that. Um, where I could play Magic with other people who've also played Magic. And I learned a lot about, you know, how the game... Uh, uh, you know, so I learned a lot. And I got my friends into it somehow. So we used to always play a lot too, and... We used to always come up with these, like, weird ideas, some of them better than others, type of deal. And the fun part about this whole thing was just, like, getting into it with them. And then, um... So we went through all the blocks and whatnot. So we went down from 8th edition, and then moved on all the way towards... Kawagama and Kawagama and the Kawagama block was where we all stopped. Sadly. Um, he's gonna block the Bane uh, Slayer from doing it. 
Are you going to counter? Copeland, I'll just do this. And he was going to be that big of a problem, but because I already got extra life out of that, I get to do those. Uh, I have my other birds. Just as protection. Um, so yeah, and then we stopped, I think it was around like 2012 or something like that. And that was only because the place got moved out, or we had to move out. Uh, the owner had to move out of the place. Uh. Actually, you can't do anything with that. Which is good, because I'll just get rid of it. Unless you just hard to counter. Yeah, no, because I'm not giving you, uh... I'm not giving you any satisfaction. That's what I hate about that damn thing. Uh, but I also learned from there as well, back in the day, uh, was an older version of... I think it was like 99, maybe 98. So we used to have some some of the local tournaments that they used to post were like you had standard, you had block, you had this and that. And one of the blocks, I think, on that end, I learned about some of the older stuff. And some of the older stuff out there was really cool. Like Shadow. Shadow was awesome. Shadow could go through any and could go through everything. But the only downside to Shadow was that it can only block cre it can only be attacked by or blocked by creatures that have Shadow. So there's that problem. <laughs> but it was really cool back in the day playing that because it was like you had to be smart about it. And this is already a problem because I hate Robert the Rich. I don't have any kill cards. And this little dinkly prick just stole Drana. Oh, come on. Really? Fucking really? And I can't burn my deck down fast enough for him to not have that. Damn it. I super hate... I hate this thing. Because it steals all my cards and I don't... And I don't need him having the one thing that I actually enjoy. So... And now he stole two cards because... Why not? Can I please have a kill card? Yeah, and you're gonna be a little... Get out of here. Oh, you're stupid. Fuck. That's why I hate rogues. Uh, I, have, I have a new burning passion and hatred for rogues because they're... Someone in uh, the balancing committee was just like, no, this is fine. That's a problem. Yeah, it's becoming a 5-5. Five five. Uh, brush fire. Though, in all honesty, the way how I play definitely plays a lot different than everyone else's because some people play to win, some people play to do other things. I... I... Uh, the way how I play is a lot different than how others would play. Because... Uh, I play by... I like to think for myself. Man, it's already becoming. Yep. Yeah. So I don't try to play like to someone else's build to make myself feel good, or to say like, oh, uh, you know, it's like this is the only way to play things. You know, it's like, I, like I play to have fun, but I play to try and like earn my victory, so to speak. Because I feel like... Oh, what's the old terminology for it? If everyone plays the same... If everyone plays the same way... Or, what is the hell? Oh my god. It's something really old. It was talking about how... By, um... Crap.
I just straight out lose this because Patrician's only got. Uh, Yeah, you can only swing with a brush fire. Oh, because you're too... Mm. Well, ain't that about a bitch. I, I guess it's just E-Honor that's existed for a very long time. Yeah, I think this is where he's going to mass swing me. He can. Because I have nothing to really block everything. I only have 4 HP. So. Four lights. So I'm gonna up. Like, shh. How the hell did he pull that out of his ass? Oh, wait, no, that was. No, that was in the thing. What? Huh. Oh, uh, no. I don't know how we got that back into there. I can't tell if he's... Yeah, I figured he was going to be this... Never, no... Oh, come on. Seriously. Yeah. Uh... Mighty asshole. No, oh, thank you for the first try killed me. All he had to do was swing with a brush fire. It had nothing to protect me, because everything was under two. Ugh. Uh, well, you know what? Screw it. I might as well see what... Uh, might as well see what old Roach Killer can do. I know it's not going to do well, because these decks... This deck is only made for casual play. Against people who play, um, Scoot Swarm. Uh, well, I got two. I don't like the Maze of My Tomes, but... Cool. I mean, if I can at least pull one card, I might be able to at least, uh, force hand on him. But I also don't know whether or not he plays small critters. So, oh, okay. I can already tell this is bad. It's green. It's gonna be blue black. And I don't have enchantments to break. Which is also now a bigger problem because it's blue white, so it's more enchantments. Oh, but I can't exile him. I could have had barrier breach. Uh, all right. Well, we'll keep him. He'll do work. This is a fool's endeavor because... No, this is a custom-made deck. Great. Oh, boy. Already looking forward to this one. Do that to the mana because he's super useful. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Unless I play a different, unless it specifically says that I can play that, or yeah, if I can specifically add more than one land per turn, which a lot of cards actually have now, which is very interesting. Definitely need to kill that Hushbreaker before I before I draw the Massacre Worm out. Oh, you. You are a, a detriment to this part of the pack. That is Wild Flying Cat right there. I mean, I love his cat bird tokens, because they are, um... Uh, what's a breed of cat I can think of that's like them? Fajuals. Um. Can't say. Uh, a cockroach. Uh, 
It's not main coon either. Oh, well, that's difficult. Well, I can handle it because I know exactly what I need to do. It's all about the timing. That may have been his biggest mistake. Oh my god, I can't believe he did that. Thank you! Why would he glass... Oy vey, that man. And he's in gold... Three, which is scary. I have never seen... I don't know why he did that. I mean, Glass Casket is useful for many things. That beast token was not one of them. And of course, such a shadow of this guy. No worries, no worries, I can handle him. I mean, I might run out, because unfortunately this is not my rogue's greatest nightmare deck, which is also a green-black, but it also allows me to play cards from outside, uh, or it allows me to play cards from my graveyard and return them and make it difficult for um, the opponent to kind of like get a leg up on me by like trying to remove stuff when I could just put it onto my hand, so to speak. Or put it onto the field via my hand. Meaning that I may be losing cards quicker, I could at least beat him to the punch beforehand. Oh, it's a pretty sphinx. Well, too bad it's gonna die. Uh, actually, yes, it can because I realized that his hexproof does not make him immune to it. You only have one card, so. Oh no, it's an enchant. Ah, nuts. Hmm. Yeah, what? I'll force it out of his hand. If he's willing to part with it, we'll see. His game. Hell get Ah, no, it's not. Damn it. Alright, at least I know I could double down on him. Cool. Alright, I'm doubling down on him. So you were not willing to part whatever card you have in your hand, which means it was very important to what you need. Oh yeah, this thing. You can. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the option of getting pets, and the bigger downside to not having a pet is the fact that he would be on this side, and also the fact that for me to have some of the nice pets. If I was actually playing it, uh, when I was doing it, I would. I could have had a German Shepherd, uh, with a, with, uh, with a knight helmet on it. But unfortunately, in order for me to get that, 
Um, I have to spend twenty dollars on their um. On their season pass, which is like I mean, they make a lot of money, so I don't know why they needed their season uh, their season pass to be that much. So it kind of hurt. Um, I have none. Nope, I was wrong. I was getting life out of this. Ooh, another green jelly green jelly. I need I need my uh, I need Astra to do work on the side. I gotta have a contingency uh, contingency plan if I really want to be working with her. Oh, ironic! You have no cards. Bye. I'm not giving you a second. Never was a fan of blue. I have no idea how the deck worked on that. But I think it's just because he wasn't running counter, so I was getting away scot free with some things. But yeah, there's like there's a bunch of animals that you can have as like your little uh I mean, I did, but I don't know. I feel like there was more. Oh. Uh, from bad to worse. I, I, I. Uh. I guess I'll just. Uh, I'll risk it. I'll. I'll see how the deck plays because I know it's always bad. Uh, count counters. Oh jeez. Uh, no cultivate means that I won't be able to speed lands out. Um, definitely need my tomes out here. Uh, well, it's a backup plan, but it's a uh, sorcery, so. Oh boy. Well, at least Typhoid will be a good backup for whatever I need. Yep. Giant. Bo yeah, pig. Okay, I, mean, I knew it was something. Crap. Can't kill it. Well. Hmm. Technically, I can, but that means I have to kill Boot Nipper, which I don't want to do. But I also don't know what else he's got in his hand. Also, why did he place Blossoming Sands when he could just play the forest? Well, coming up slow for me. Yeah, that was kind of what I wanted, but now it's come down to what's the big game plan out here. So, back to even. Was created for one purpose, restoring order to Theros. And can't kill that thing because... Well, I don't have the option to. The stars will light our way. I hate Planeswalkers. I don't think Garrick is going to be showing up anytime soon on my end. Thank you. This is the way it is meant to be. I, I unfortunately, I have to immediately, immediately get rid of Planeswalkers because some I don't have to really worry about, but others are a danger, like Code Black type of just like ah. Uh,
Ah, goody. All right, so. I have a plan. I just have to patiently play the waiting game, even though Neela isn't actually the right hand to play. Ah, fungal. All right, gotta do it. Uh, that's a problem. Yep, gotta do it because it's a real big problem. Even, please. That saved me from losing anything I had, but then again, Elder was an odd uh, converted mana cost of five, and I chose to take everything out that was six. So, go me. <laughs> And my timing couldn't have been any more ho Oh, come on! My timing could not have been any more horrible. Nothing to fear from me. My timing could not have been any more horrible. The patterned future of Yay, and the... Me. I hate god cards so goddamn much. Oh, come on. Look skyward and receive the gifts of the gods. This is definitely old school because this is Theros. This is basically. Oh, come on, really? Can I please score even? Can't do anything about that because I can't destroy it. LOL. Uh. Oh come on! It's because the fucking hydra's broke. I know why. Ah, uh, this is a way more calculated build. I know he's saving freaking Elspeth for the big stuff that's in my hand. So you would rather cannot escape the bonds of. <laughs> You animal! Wait, why is he? Man's on suicide patrol, trying to mill half of his deck down. Shoot. Can I? No. I mean, it's gonna make no difference because it just won't. Because I know exactly what he's going to do next turn, which is Elspeth. Which leaves me at one, and then he'll just one. And then he'll just one click just to be like. No, actually, he will. No, actually, yeah, he will. Because he'll Elspeth, and that thing will hit me for five. Or just waste. Oh, because he wanted the. Well, no, that's an enchantment, too, so I don't know why. Ugh. I don't have enough enchantment killer, so I can't really just mind play this guy. Ugh, crap. But that's old school, so it's like, I can't be mad about it because seeing that type of deck makes me go like, oh wow, this is when Theros was like the big king, you know, where, where everything was enchantments and whatnot, so I was like, ah. But unfortunately, mistimed that extinction uh, event to go after uh, the, indes the indestructible gods. Because unfortunately, trying to just tapper those little animals is a difficult course on its own. So dealing with decks like those, I, it is, it's, it's, well, it's not a game of speed, it's a game of can you counter it. Counter's deck, crap. Well, that means, having, uh, actually, that means four of my cards are useless. Griffin Air, really? 
Oh, I'm drinking cold coffee. Like crap. <laughs> oh, that's it. So to speak, but I want to get rid of anything big he has because I don't. Because I'm trying to quickly roll down the numbers. Like, all right, this is is this a mono white deck? What does he have in here? What is he running? What am I have to deal with? What's the name of the game here? He's difficult. So I'm trying to like mill through my brain. Like, all right, what do you got? One of these things. It's not like typhoid rats are actually gonna do anything. <laughs> Unless rats grow wings, we've got a problem here. Let me guess. We have. Hmm, why am I not surprised that's there? Why am I not surprised? Uh, well, I don't have a. I like that. Bad. Freaking bitch! I don't have uh, I have one card in this whole deck that will allow me to exile him. Two, technically, but I'd like to catch him on the up and up before he does so. But without things to get rid of enchantments, I've got a problem. And me thinks, yeah, I'm not surprised it's that. I more or less hate the fact that this guy will get his Celia without a single creature on the field. And there it goes! Hooray! It's now a pain in the ass. And now he's gonna... Well, first things first, get rid of the speaker, because I hate that. Okay, put that on yourself. Yeah, and that's priced. I know I won't be able to at least kill all the exiles, even though technically Heliod still is an enchantment. The oh yeah, you do cost three though, so huh? Look at that. Uh, odd. I'll lose out on it, but... Oh well. Unfortunately, that stupid Elspeth had to screw me over. I mean, I got rid of it, but I still gotta deal with these things. I mean, I, uh, I, mean, I could spend five mana to get rid of it, but... The I would rather reserve these things for bigger problems. Unless all of a sudden I just got, you know, the one thing that actually would mean the situation. Shadows burnt. Hey, look at that. And now we play the game of oh my god, do I get creatures right now? Because I'm going to need them badly. Actually, I can't get rid of it. So we're gonna do just that. Save the extinction event for round two when he gets something else I don't want him to have. Even though everything I have is sorcery, so no fun. Oh dear. Ah, oh, is he gonna make cat? Okay. I'm about to have all of my land cards out. And 
And here comes the problem. This And... Well, I'll take it. Not against it. But thankfully knowing this deck, it doesn't have... As far as I'm aware of, there's no uh, Planeswalker, so... I'm fine for the most part. Uh, all I do know is that... Yeah, I can God dang it. It's gonna get rid of all that summoning sickness too because it's on my end. That's a waste. We could just... Oh, perfect! This actually would help me in this situation because this actually might save my ass. And here we have some doggos. We were born for some really hungry doggos <laughs> who have not been fed. So, uh, he's one of my only few favorite um, planeswalkers that I've had. What the hell is these? <laughs> I mean, they are very pissed and very hungry. Can that actually get rid of? Ah, fuck you. This. And just as he went there and went, uh, I guess I can just get rid of that thing now because I hate him. Ugh. I was about to have a big ass pack, but now I can't. Uh, why? Why did? Uh, why did? They, I always I, I find it good when they have the one, but when it's two, it's always a pain. That was very well. That does nothing. That was very ballsy of you, sir. Why did you shatter the sky on nothing? Uh, actually, no, you don't have four. I'm about to have my last land show up. Uh, if only I could break all the prominence on his side, but I can't. This has been a long game of just, like, tacking through. Like, he's got a substantial lead in, uh, for life. Yeah, I'm dead. There's nothing I can do about this. That uh, I can't destroy that land because there's no land destruction available for me. And here I am wasting Blood Chief's thirst like I'm an animal. Because I know the because uh, as soon as he drops that Castle Ardman will pop, but then he'll just make another token as soon as it's his turn. I am, like, I am fighting to uh, try to get out of the jaws of, uh, a, a life here. Don't mind if I do. Angel of Destiny is a very dangerous thing. But unfortunately, in sometimes the wrong hands, it'll, uh, Kinda go the wrong way. Is he gonna kill it? Wow. Oh man, that's a poor bit. Yeah, this, that land is just... Uh, it's, it's difficult. I just really wish he didn't have a second Elspeth. I would have been fine without it. But since it's for permanence, the three and up, uh, it just means that Planeswalker it gets it'll nailed though. So yeah, and I couldn't counter it fast enough anyway. It, it, even for an instant, I can't burn it off the stack. <laughs> I tried my hardest. I can't. <laughs> that's all I could say. <laughs> I was just like I was fighting the nitty gritty. I think I almost burned all of my uh, exile uh, or my mass exile cards there too. Ugh. Plus, I'm pretty sure I almost had every land out, <laughs> which I think was even more hilarious, because none of my uh, my Jolly Green Giants were uh, anywhere near me. And the hilarious bit is I have three of them in this deck, and I didn't get a single one. <laughs> I just kept pulling more lands and just things that were just slow to respond, and I had a lot of satisfying results. 
And I know that the gentleman has... So it's definitely blue-black, which means rogue. Which means I'm gonna watch my deck disappear. Oh no, blue-green. So, mutate. There's usually an odd theme to a lot of how these decks work. Yeah, it's mutate. Um, and you can almost like pick uh, pick it out for every color. Which I, which I actually find very interesting that you could just figure out the theme. Uh, no, I don't- I need, uh, both swamps out here. Uh, where, uh, red-blue is instant and sorcery, uh, shenanigans, um... Green and red is, like, mass monsters with mass power. Uh, white-black is, like, lifesteal and playing with your, uh, with, uh, your... Essentially with life, almost. So even, and it says on like the tooltips, like even one, you know, even if you're at one life, it's still a victory. Well, yeah. Um, uh, what was it? Uh, green, white is like mass monsters. Uh, I don't know what white, blue technically falls under. I think it's like flying for the most part. Uh, blue, black is unfortunately milling. And red, black is... Uh... I think monster manipulation I want to go with. But, yeah. Uh, dude, there's like an odd theme between that. Some of them are really fun, some of them are a real drag. Some of them are also difficult to deal with. <laughs> uh, I just also wish that some of the older... Um, Oh, hello. All right. You didn't mutate that, did you? Cool. I don't like that Elk Beast, by the way. That Elk Beast is one of the most dangerous cards I've ever had the luxury of dealing with. That thing will amass monsters by a mutation by God knows how much. And it's also super dangerous to deal with because it will cause a quote-unquote cascade of uh, on the stack to just cause these effects to just pop out like left and right and it's like how do you deal with it like how do you it's like Ugh. I mean I like but for me my la favorite landfall playing is um, is white landfall because it's hilarious there is a cat Cranon Resort? I think that's what it's called. Uh, it's an enchantment that every time you play a land, you can choose one of two things. Either you can make a 2-2 Cat Beast, or you could give everyone uh, a plus one, plus one counter and Vigilance until end of turn. It might be a plus three, plus three Cat. Uh, but it's quick to get out, it's quick to do, it's just it's mind-numbing how strong it is, how good it is. It's just it's one of those days. But if you can, like, and playing it with, uh, with, uh, green, uh, you could just make so many lands just come out within, like, an instant, and then all of a sudden it's like, well, now I've got, you know, this thing triggered four times, so now I'm just gonna make two cat, uh, you know, it's like, uh, as many cats as I want, or give everything plus one, plus one. It's just insane in the membrane. I'm just going to tap him with Boot Nipper because he actually hasn't done anything. Or you, you can't... Well, I was going to be nice. Uh, yes, I do. I have two of them, actually. Um... Fine, we're going to play this game. Uh, and I also have the different art for it as well. It's pretty much well, one of my favorites, too. But, again, Landfall is just... It, it's so easy to play it because Landfall just states if it's a land, you can play it. Oh, goody. Something I don't like seeing. So what are you going to do? Return into my hand? Uh, 
Well, thanks for the free land, champ. I might lose this just because of the shenanigans. If he mutates it, I'm screwed because I could just use a massacre worm to kill it, but I I know damn well for a fact he's gonna mutate it. Which I can only hope he doesn't, which means that I can only hope that the next turn that I have I can uh, deal with whatever that is. Uh, how many kill cards have I used? Four. Well, three, but because one of them got countered. Yep, figured as much. That was the last thing I needed. I mean, it's a free land from Beanstalk Giant, but... Actually... Yeah, that's, that's game. Astro wouldn't do anything because... Yep. That's... That's a heartbreaker, but... That's the nature of how... Mutate works and how ridiculous... Blue players are! I had it in the bag, but it was just unfortunate. Uh, oh well. Yeah, I'm not surprising at all. He kept, he kept booting. Oh, well, you're just gonna play that game. Wait, 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 wait. It has flying, it has flying. Oh, God. I just realized it has flying, it has flying. Oh, wait, I can actually end him. Ooh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I got to survive in one turn. <laughs> I hope. But that depends also if I get a kill card. No, actually... Um, if I cycle this, I can. No, another broken wings, damn it. Uh, I mean, technically, I think I'll still lose if he mutates something. Because it's a pain. Because I'll... Actually, if he attacks me... Yeah, and that's the thing I like to counter. But yes, if he actually does attack me, he does lose. Because I'll be at 1 HP and he'll be down. Or he could just be an absolute shithole. Of course he has a fucking pouncing shore shark on hand. What a f fucking lucky motherfucker. I had it. I had it. If it only just gave me something else, I would have been fine. Uh, but that's RNG for you. Thankfully, he's in gold, so... If he goes to diamond, I'll, I won't feel as bad, because then he'll just get... Uh... What's the right word? Brick broken? Well, no, but... Uh, he'll, he'll get his just desserts up there. Um, I'm content with being where I am here. <laughs> oh, trust me, as it does, too. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. We pray to the almighty RNGs with here. <laughs> I love using that term. Oh, look, no Lance. <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't, because I'm just gonna not play. <laughs> Actually, it's a blue black, but yeah, just don't. I just, it's so... It's, it's such, like, a crippling feeling, because if you don't... If you can't outspeed him... You basically lose because then you can't draw anything, and then, poop. and plus the other like part that sucks about them as well is 
rogues when you have eight or more in your graveyard gain more abilities so a one one rogue that mills you f um whenever the chance it gets as soon as eight uh cards are in the graveyard that thing now gains plus two plus one and death touch which means that at any any time i want to face off against that thing uh, any damage it causes to any other thing that I have will just outright kill it, no matter how much defense it has, uh, no matter how much toughness it has. And then what makes just matters worse is that it's a 3 2. So a lot of the 1 1 pings that I could try to do with it won't work. My only two options that I can do against that is running something that has first strike for 2 or destroying it outright going to be a very big problem right here because this is a night uh, this is a red white knight deck which is usually good about pumping damage on it I think it's about to hit me for six seven and that was at turn three I think um, what's fortunate is that I have to let him do his thing Actually, this works out fine because no matter what, uh, Iron Scale cannot die. Unless he snipes me for a fiver, which I think he's going to do right now. Or that, or that. Uh, I take. I think I'm actually lo losing here because I have nothing. I'm at 1 HP now. Ooh, neat. Um. Actually, this was a costly mistake. Because I'm probably putting money down that he's about to shock that thing. Cool. I'm safe. I think. Uh, he'll Actually, he will kill Koga, now that I think about it. Or it's just more pacifying. God. Okay, that was unneeded, champ. Got one with just the one. Ah, curse my luck that he had t that he had pacifies on hand. Ugh. But I had nothing to like speed vault um, Thor Mammoth in there, so it was basically just a gamble on a uh, call. Oh well. I think this is the time where I actually go down to silver one. 20 odd 6. What kind of name is that? Two mulligans I just saw. So he definitely got something at the ass end that he wasn't supposed to. But I also don't know what his deck is, so... Of course. I'm going to already assume that it's a, um... Yeah, he wouldn't have been hesitant like that. It's rogues. It's, it's rogues. Yep, rogues. Blue-black. In comes the flash. Can't have you at the moment. Fortunately, I need things with reach, because for some unexplainable reason... Yeah, why am I not surprised with that thing? For just some unexplainable reason, they gave rogues flying. I will never understand the reason why. And cool, because I don't do damage to it. This little shitter fucking just gets away with it. And, uh, and Menace, too. Like, it's just... It astounds me that this is the game that we play. Or, th th these are the options. I am... No, I'm frustrated. I'm not tired, I promise. 
I'm just super frustrated. <laughs> I don't know whether or not my voice is going hoarse on me because of how I'm just, I'm just like bark, 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 bark. Criminal. F3. I'm gonna take a swing. I don't even know why I'm peeking. I know I'm gonna lose it. That's essentially just the whole mindset is just like, eh, I can't be dealing with them. But it, it, it's mainly just these people. It's always just like a way how Blue plays. It's just so manipulative. It annoys me to no end because it's just unfun to deal with because it just like, it alters the game space so much that you just like, how do I deal with this? Like, you just can't. You just have to deal with it. So it's like, bang. Ugh. Oh yeah, why did I even bother? I knew I was gonna lose that card. I really need Astra out here. At least the help of dealing with a merfolk. Oh, but look at that! Another flying creature that I really hate the most of. Uh, I only have two, so I might as well just dump that thing out of the way. And I might as well just start dealing with these things. Oh, there's a heartless egg that I won't see, so I'm just gonna put that on the bottom. The only way that I can actually beat this is if it's speed bolted against him. So I have to be super lucky that the hands that I'm dealt with in this. Oh, and of course. A oh, fucking course. As soon as he blocks it, he has eight, and that thing is already now a five for no reason. And I can't kill the merfolk because he'll just sacrifice it. Even with summoning sickness, so... And I can't kill the uh, that pain the ass rogue because it has menace, which means I need two creatures in order to deal with it, so yay. So all he has to do is just attack with a rogue and then I'll be fine. You're gonna mill me, aren't you? Because you're that type of person. No, you are just... Oh my god. Okay, you are just that type of asshole. Cool, which means... Oh, okay, I just started the boot nipper. What the hell else is in there, anyway? Uh, okay, nothing super dangerous. Good. Great. Super. I hate this thing with a burning passion. So... Yay. Stealing. Something I hate the most about these things. Good. Aha! Uh -huh. Ah, perfect. All I have to do is just call odd, and that kills three of his things. Yeah, look at him being a little smartass. He knows he wants the endless web. And that's... Pr that deems a problem. <laughs> hey, even less so. If I touch Boot Nipper with it, it will just die, so I'm not trying to do that. <laughs> I'm waiting for my chance to kill it. Then I'll be good. Until then, I'm just gonna swing with Boot Nipper. 
I have a chance now. So all I have to do is know that at the end of this match, I have to slow play this. Or, I don't have to necessarily slow play this, but I have to be keen on what I need to play. And that's game. I am so thankful. Thank you, Shadow's Verdict. I'm more or less thankful he didn't have the really, uh, dangerous, dangerous, um, Thieves' Guild Hood? I forget. It's this one, it's this insane card that just, you drop for one that has flash and mills two cards off the top of your library. Um, I think for like every rogue or something like that. Or whenever a rogue enters in, or itself. So, yay. <laughs> That because oh hey it's the um what's her uh, what's his face where is that dog in I know it's oh Bulltown that's what it is I wonder if he'll start going nuts yeah there's a shot of when he like just goes off the rails where he'll just like bounce in between the whole place. Not like as dogs do, they love their tail. But they kind of, these dogs kind of play cheerleader. Yeah, it's because it's like, because there's only one clip to it, that's why that sounds annoying. Because they just go and go and like... And it's the same clip over and over again. They don't make different noises. Which is where part of the problem lies. I mean, like, you can click on your opponent's pet and they'll just do that. And that's it. Uh, how can I... Actually, I don't even know what deck this actually is for a gold three or gold tier three because it's white black but it doesn't make any sense to me I wasn't getting really tired of him like hitting me it'll probably sacrifice it and then give that thing indestructible <laughs> jeez oh, he must <laughs> I give you a gift! Oh, bloody nose! There we go. Yeah, uh, like, the only worst, like, wound I have on my hand is, um, from the feral cat, who, uh... Nope, wrong thing, wrong thing. Uh, who scratched my hand way back in the day, because he was, like, he was play-biting it. So he kind of did that. And he, like, dug his nail into me. So he, like, really got at this... He got at the skin good. And this... And that wound has been on my hat. Oh, yeah. And this wound has been sitting... Uh, has been on my hand for almost, like... Nine years, I'd almost say. Maybe eight. I don't know. But it's, like, the only wound that I can see on me hand. Uh... <laughs> It's the only wound I can see on me hand, Patrick. <laughs> oh, that's a problem. Get rid of you. Uh, that, that I actually can't see on my hand. I have, like... I have three burn scars on me. Or, well, three or four burn scars. Two of them, uh... From, like, knuckle side up, and then two knuckle side down. Um... I, uh, if it is, I don't know when it was. Like, oh, I know. Uh, 
But they're basically. But the fun part about that was just like how. All right then. Uh, I don't know why I did that. But yet you uh, two points apparently. Uh, but they were just like it was mainly just sheer stupidity, or just like not thinking where my hand was that I had more room. So I'd bash it against the oven, for the most part. Because I think like, oh yeah, I've got, I've got maneuver. Nope. Burn. The one that I always hated the most was from uh, knuckle side down, so like, looking at my palm, was when this... So... Oh yeah. Well, it was because of the way how, like, most of the uh, pans are a piece of crap. Like, they really were. Uh, they used to bubble out, so when you put them on a flat surface, they spin. Which is, to me, no-go. Like, you should not have a, uh, you know, a cooking pan that spins like that. It's no boy. So that's what happened. I had to make pasta on the pizza section, mind you. Because I had a big enough oven for it, so that's where they put it. Oh, it was the worst! Like, so I'm gonna go, uh, so I'm grabbing someone's pasta out of the oven, you know, to be like, alright, well, I've got whatever the hell the, I forget the name of the actual pasta was. That's good. I mean, they got rid of most of that crap that we had there anyway. Um, but they got, um... Oh, it's something like... Oh shit, hold on. Um, ah, damn it, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, well, I can get rid of these. Uh... Oh, good point. Uh, it's something in Italian or Spanish, and my, uh, the co my co-worker always laughed because it basically just meant oven oven, which was great. Because <laughs> it was like some fancy foreign word and whatnot, and they're just like, yeah, it means this! And it's like, uh, no it doesn't. <laughs> it's like, yes it does, but it's also uh, a little bit, uh, <laughs> a little bit stupid. Shit, was it, um... Was it Forno Pasta? Because the joke we used to always make was that we used to call it Porno Pasta. I think that's what it was. Yeah, I think it's called Forno Pasta, or like... Forno something or other. But, it's it was just like, it's oven pasta, it's like... Well, what do you mean by it? It was just like something so ridiculous. It just made no sense, so it was just... Oh my god. But yeah, I think it was called Porno Pasta because I think it was just like, it was redundant that you would call it Porno Pasta. It's like, oven pasta, what the hell does that mean? It was just, uh. Yeah, I figured that was gonna happen. But that pasta was a nightmare. I can't believe I got to tier three with this deck. Oh, those are tier twos? Oh. Oh, damn. Oh, now I feel kind of bad for some of them now. Ooh, dear. Um, anyway. So, this thing bubbled out on the bottom of the pan because there was a piece of crap like that. So, I'm gonna go grab it with an oven mitt, and I can't. Mind you, the oven mitt in question is a... Or, oh, no, don't tell me those are tier ones. Uh, is a rag that was still good enough to grip, you know, hot things at 500 degrees. Meanwhile, I'm chasing this thing uh, down to be like, come here, you. And what do I do? Hit the wall of the oven with my hand, trying to grab it as it's moving and burn myself that way. Like, idiot. There, it was just like, oh god. Like, of the things you could just have happen to you, that's the one that you go, that's how you burn your hand. It was just silly. Ah, white black priest, I kinda like my own. Question is how crazy is yours? Keep that on the side just in case I need to do something about it. Uh I am curious as to what this dumbness is. 
humor me. Because I can't be anything more dumb than anything I've done. I can attest to that. <laughs> Not surprised by that one, but now I definitely have to get rid of Shadow Spear. So in all honesty, I could just extinction event these guys. Oh my god. I know exactly what you're talking about too, because I knew... I know something like that as well. Oh, uh, I know exactly what that's like, because I think... I think my mom has something like that, too. Oh, man. It's always like the one worst part where the hell the giant metal screw is, and it just heats up immensely, and you're just like, Why? How? How do you do this? Like, seriously? You have to have talent to do that, and it's like... What was the board meeting like that? It's like, oh yeah, you know, it's like, oh, we made, the, it's like, we have this great pot, except for this one ma metal screw that if you heat it up and you're not careful, it'll burn you. Well, they better carry, you know, uh, frickin', uh, what's it's, um, give me a sec, I'm gonna think, um, uh, like a pot, uh, like a pot holder or something like that, to open it. Meanwhile, it's a, you know, it's a handle that you can use. Ugh. I just... You, you're just amazing. Like, how do you do it? Because like, I'm trying to think. I've had... One of my favorite experiences that I've ever had at work was the... Um, I uh, was having uh, one of the pipes kind of go AWOL on me. Meaning that um, while I was cleaning out pots and pans when I used to be a dishwasher, all of a sudden uh, the nut to one of my things, or, or, or the giant lug nut that was connecting the pipe to the sprayer, got loose, and all of a sudden water went everywhere. So I had to like quickly turn it off to make sure that nothing went wrong. And the better of two parts was that uh, I had to ask somebody for a wrench just so that I could tighten it enough so that I didn't have to deal with it. That'll be a gentleman, this man played well. And my other personal favorite, too, was when I had to play, um, MacGyver. Because of how idiotic our, quote-unquote, co-worker was. When he... So, the, so the, there's this big thing that I have um, that I mentioned about one of my co-workers that I just hate his guts. Like, hands down, like, I just don't like him at all. He's a good worker, but that's about it. Everything else about him is just no. Like, just stop. It's like, oh my god. He called himself head dishwasher at one point. You would be lucky enough to even have said dishwashing job if it wasn't for, you know, being full time. Second, he's a bit of a creep, but he. But I feel like he knows. Ah, you. Mm. That's already uh, bad news, so I gotta be fast killing this guy. Because I know damn well for a fact when he runs. Um. And yeah, well, there it is. Thieves you open for us, sir, because I'm that much of a person. Uh, and it's already it's turn two, and this thing's already big. I'm going out of my house. Annoying. I'm so thankful that that damn blue-black deck lost top 8. 
And an even bigger problem, I would like to point out as well, is the fact that uh, the quote unquote blue walls that exist, these things are impenetrable for a one drop. This is a zero three, this is a zero four. There is nothing that I can do to counteract this. There is no f car that has first strike on turn two that can defeat these things. The only way that I'm going to get rid of these things is by calling odd on extinction event. And thankfully, I am at six, so that is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to mass wipe this thing, eat half of my deck in the turns that I have already played, which I think is to uh, turn five, because this guy plays with a deck bigger than 60, I think. Which means I have to be faster now at beating him. So now is where my luck has to come into play big time and hope that under any circumstance I can beat this guy. By knowing him, he'll counter Beanstalk Giant because he's that... Ooh, goody. Because uh, he's that kind of person. You know he murders right here. Play it. See what happens next turn. Or are you just gonna mill? Milling was not a big thing till like 11 or something like that. Oh, good. Something I can also get rid of. Which I will. I'll sit on Thorn Man. Or I'll sit on Thorn Man with next turn. Because whatever else he plays, I'll just smack it. Kind of like. Actually, you know what? I'll just get rid of it immediately. It was bound to happen. But now I have this big... I have a moss mammoth. I have an alafante. Oh good, and there goes half my deck. Technically, if nothing goes wrong next turn, I win. Well, I mean, technically, I'm still gonna have a problem. Um, I have seen a lot of the movies, I just haven't read the books. So, that... I know that the books are very difficult to read. Or, I think they are. I don't remember if it's the other books, too. Yeah, no, you're not getting any sympathy from me, dude. Ooh, what are you going to do? Yeah, nothing. Nope, you are not getting my offer. Oh, that was a speed game and a half. I had seven cards left in my deck. I usually know people to read Harry Potter or Artemis Fowl. It's the Game of Thrones one. Um, oh, it's the new week because uh, it's 4 a.m. So uh, dailies reset. So I have to now. <laughs> so I got to cast no spells that I can work with here, <laughs> and I got to win 15 games, which I don't get. Uh, so weekly wins is 15, but you have to make 15 daily wins, so you can get both of these in the same day, which makes no sense. So, yeah. Um, I actually don't know where I am on my, uh... Yeah, let me just play one more and then just kind of... Uh, I'll dick around in uh, casual with a uh, night deck of mine. Most of the part that what I've read were more like L.A. Uh, LA Salvatore, so a lot of the Forgotten Realm books. Um, uh, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is one that I... Or no, um, not Lion, Wage of the Road Rope. Uh, there was another book that was really weird like that. It was this prince that could turn into a lion. I remember the cover. 
was that the lion had a rose in its mouth and it was taking off the like this weird like veil of it it was like taking this veil off revealing like the human behind it it was like super weird I, I, I really wish I remember the name of the book but honestly I've actually not watched uh, Narnia or see Narnia excuse me um, which is very odd because I know what the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is about, but I also know that that is... Really, you're not going to save the... Oh, because it's seven. Ooh. No, oh, that card's a problem. And one... Uh, whatever. Oh, wait, no, you had two knights. Uh, I have five... Uh, but I know that there's like a giant series behind um, Narnia, and it goes through like a lot of the steps of like what happened with the Ice Queen or whatever her name was. Uh, I hate this individual. Uh, fuck. I need to keep Kolga. Yeah, the Turkish Delights, I forgot about those things. Uh, they are chocolate, but I cannot tell you for the life of me whether they are good or not, because I do not know where I can find said Turkish Delights. Hmm. That's an absolute problem. I would not have expected that. I would have assumed that it was like... Yeah. Um, I would have just assumed that they were like... Belgian chocolate sort of deal. Ugh, man, this deck is... Monstrous. It's probably got more Falmire Knights on hand, though. Um... Oy vey, um... I would have assumed them to be like how you would make Ghirardelli or something like that. Or Lindell? I think Lindell is the other one. So I, I would have just assumed it would be those. I mean, he's blue green, but the way how this deck works is uh, not something I'm accustomed to. So it's kind of like, uh, what do I do here? I haven't like even you if I can get you on the edge. See, my dad I think would probably be more into them because, um, oh god, I can't think of the name of them. Uh, there's these candies. They're like jelly chocolate, or they're chocolate filled with jellies, and they're I don't know what they are, or where they're from. But we are they the are eight. apparently like really good and whatnot. Kind of right, that. Uh, at least to my dad. And I know my mom eats them too, but they usually get them at the like jelly temple or whatever, because that's usually where they are. So I don't know if there's like a significance to like some culture reference as to why, but it's what they are. So. Oh, you mean the nothing I have? Yeah. Congratulations on discarding nothing. You're not scared of dogs, are you? Now I've got the other hand again. Um. Uh, what the hell is it? So I don't know. Wow, tier two, really. 
All right, staying there. We have got to a good rank. I am not going to platinum anytime soon, so let's go on to casual mode for our last hour. All right, red, white. What do I want to play? Warriors in arms. Uh, yeah, might as well. Oops. <laughs> yeah, you told me about how you did not uh, were uh, your childhood scar. Uh, I can tell you that my brother. My oldest brother and his kid. I think I just made a mistake. Oh, oh crap, yeah, I did. This is a problem now. <laughs> um, my oldest brother got bit by a Dalmatian, and my nephew uh, was bitten by a bulldog. So I don't know where their stances are with dogs, but I can just tell you that. It, it, it's an unfortunate thing that uh, the way how people treat animals... It's un—it's sort of just like it's unfair to you know say that all dogs are bad or a certain breed is bad. It's really just the people, but eh, it's an unfortunate thing. Oh, I was gonna say, like, you know you don't have a one on there. Um, yeah, but I like to promote myself as the, uh, as the Golden Shepherd. Part German Shepherd, part Golden Retriever. The Fierce Protector and the Loyal... Uh, uh, you know, the, the friendly dog, but also the fierce protector. Which also fits because Wolfen is a German word, so part of my family's bloodline on my mother's side is German, so German shepherds are adorable. So it all, so it all comes together. <laughs> How uh, hard that it all fits together. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> I won't deny that. I'd have to be a fool to deny it. Are we saying good game because you're about to rock my world, or are you saying good game because you have a skill? Aha. Okay, then. I mean, he can hit for four. Ooh, I would not do that. Because guess who's also flying as well? See, I can't tell what his what, what the gist is between this, so I'm like, I'm hesitant on saying it, so I'll see it here just to see what we get. Because I know what he's going to do is protect, so he's going to just have that. This deck should not be doing this right now, I can tell you that much. Protect from white. I do do that. I need to get out of here. <laughs> I didn't mean to be in this match. I should have also skipped that too because I didn't. There was no fun to be had. It was all a mistake. <laughs> that, uh, that. I mean, it's a generous mistake, but the wrong type of thing that was supposed to be played. Let me play Warrior and Iron, damn it. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now we're in casual, so... I mean, the ranks will still show up, but we're not playing casual, so we're fucking... 
I don't know why they included this in uh, casual to be like, these are the ranks you're playing against. Like, I know, oh crap. Uh, well, actually, no, it's not that bad. Um, I know that rank doesn't matter depending on how you see it. In the higher ranks, yes, but like everything within like a certain site, like platinum and below, I guess, doesn't matter much because they're all different. If you climb to, like, where Mystic is, yeah, then there is something there. So it all just, like, falls down to what that is. Um. Hmm. I already know what I'm doing next turn. So I have nothing to worry about. I think for the mole, it just gives... First strike, but I'll gain double strike because core, so that'll be uh, right off the bat. Yeah, rolling regrowth. So you're trying to gain two lands, but what are you trying to play is the question. Damn. Yeah, I needed that. <laughs> Ah, uh, well. Yeah, why the fuck not? Just got to drop. Another land. Okay, this gentleman plays I uh, is playing three colors. Why? Tome out. Find a... Ooh, Expedition Chair. All I have to do is just drop Maul on Pear. Ew. Fuck. That's a problem. Well, actually it's not really because he doesn't have flying. <laughs> Though he might snipe it out of the air if he has the option to. And in my stupidity, I forgot to swing with Core Blade Master to drop a 1 1 on there to win said game. Oh, God damn it. Well, shit. Yeah, and I should have done that when there was a reach. Great. Now I gotta deal with this stupid thing. Four, eight, five. Can't do anything about it. And fun part is, I actually can't kill it. Actually, wait. I think I can. Because of the double strike. That actually went as planned. Okay, why am I still in gold too? Like, I said I was playing casual, not ranked. Why am I still getting points? Oh wait, uh, never mind, never mind. False alarm, false alarm. I forgot that that's how weird this thing does things sometimes. Uh... Is an interesting starting hand. I 
Oh god, he's doing stuff I used to do way back. I mean, I still like uh, Wolf Willow Haven, but... If it's a half risk if you're not playing stuff that has enchantments around. And both of my ruinous ultimatums are in my hand. Hmm. Interesting. I don't think I'll be able to play this card. I don't care if I have to take three damage. Oh, I go. Huh. I thought I was going to. Oh well. Oddly enough, I gain protection from this. If it is the right thing. Come on... Four? I think I want. Two. Sh uh, yeah, actually a little bit shit. That's uh, a... Well, actually... Ah, uh, damn it. I don't like this. And that's it. Oh, that's a definite hell this time around. I didn't need to have two terror things on hand, but there's a definite L because it's 35. 10, 17, yeah. I, I basically just die. Okay, there's no need for your freaking dryad to be doing crap. Mulligan in do something worse. Uh, guess it's thundering re rebuke. situation. Red, black, okay. Ah, so the standard deck. Got it. I'm gonna 
play it safe by having short sword show up. Because... Don't know what this gentleman is going to perform. Or, or lady, because I don't know actually how many um, are female players, but I think there was one top eight, but it might be wrong. She might have been... Um, or she might have been of a different final. I might have been... Not the main one that I'm thinking of. I can't remember her deck, but I think she had Ugin in it. <laughs> Boy, is Ugin a problem. Figured as much. I knew it had to be something. I don't know why he waited on it. I'll probably just zap it if he's got shock, because I think these decks have that. There's something dangerous. All I know is that I can only hope that if I do drop down that, yeah. Uh, Heartless Act I think makes sense. But at least I can play Kargan and then whip the axe out. Giving him 5-4. So, at least now I have something powerful so that he has to spend big or double down killing Kragan, or Kargan. Which would not surprise me. Is a problem. He might hit. Oh, well, actually, he can't swing with that just yet. So he can't do about it. Why do I get the distinct feeling you are trying to bait me into a hit? Oh wait, you only had one more. All right, let's double down on this man and then go swinging. If he blocks, he'll do just fine. Or take the 12. My guest. You can menace right now. You can trip. If he does the thing I expect him to do. He can hurt me for a lot. <laughs> well, that works. Yeah, he just has to sacrifice the, uh, sacrifice the goat and hit me for three. Or five. Well, that works too. I'm not gonna bother with that. He doesn't have the option to do anything about that. I mean, he's got good blockers. Then it occurred to me I actually can't play Hactos. Ew. That's a problem. He can block, but first strike's gonna just take. It's alright, I don't mind you being quiet. I was kind of being kind of quiet too. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm, interesting. I mean, that's gonna snap the Wostrayer if he does that. It won't work to its advantage, but I, I actually won't be able to hit him anyway because I don't have to trample.
Okay, Doc. Well, that's gonna still kill the I mean, congratulations, you did that, but it means very little to me. I saw that one coming. Oh, thankfully, I got thundering to rebuke that thing. Get rid of it altogether. All right. Problem is now, Kargan doesn't have double strike. Let me sacrifice the scry for a goat. Because why not? The situations at the hand are a little bit deflated. Actually, if he hits Kragan with Blood Aspirant and just sacrifice the goat, he can hit me for three. And make it impossible for me to make a comeback because it would require a lot more damage for me to do that. Which means I'd have to kill the, uh, the Blood Aspirant. Which is very tough to do. And unless I just pull Core out of my ass, I don't think that's gonna happen either. Nope, that was that problem. Be able to do anything about it. Well, ain't that a shame? Yeah, it's fucking GG because I can't do anything. I'll hit him for eight, but then I just have nothing. Okay, asshole, you didn't do that much. I gotta do some real quick. Actually, you know what? I'm out on the stream here just so I can check it. No, good timing, I guess. Um, Alright, I'm gonna end the stream here because I gotta go do something real quick because I heard something I'm not a fan of, but. I'll look into it. Alright, tomorrow is... Uh, more of Remnant from the Ashes. I gotta deal with big ba with the big man for the most part. Uh, because apparently his buttocks is his weak point, which I think is hilarious, but I think I might be able to beat him if I just try hard enough. Uh, and then Wednesday I think is more Neverwinter. So, remember to always stay alpha. 
I always play your games on the hardest difficulty, and I'll see you all in the next live stream. Sayonara.